class. Yeah. Perfect. Ok, grazie, grazie Valerie, grazie. <laughs> ok, so let's start because today we have a very important uh, class because we are gonna learn the present perfect, ok? How to use it and how to make sentences. So, ok, let's see again. Sit here a second, let me show let me okay. show she can see you ah, c'è tuo marito yeah he doesn't want to come <laughs> oh no perché perché why è timido is it shy no <laughs> yeah. okay okay whatever okay so oh ellen Ellen has problem with the link. Okay, let me, okay, I'll send her an email. So, okay, just one second. Okay. Um, okay, so let me, let me send an email to Ellen because she's uh, she's not getting the the link. And who else here? Let's see here. Okay. So let forward to Helen. Um, Ellen. Okay, I sent to her, so probably she will join us soon. Let's see, but John is not here and Barbara is not here. Okay. That's uh, weird. Okay, I'm, I have to look at the phone because if I, okay, Barbara, again, yes, same thing, Barbara. She haven't received the link. So, okay. Yeah, you can talk uh, each other if you want. I'm sending the link uh, to Barbara now, okay? Okay. So forward, okay, include Barbara. Okay, and probably even John has the same problem. Let's see, maybe I'll send to John too. So just in case. Okay. Now everybody has the link, so we should start. Otherwise, we are losing some precious time. Okay, so Andreas, are you okay? Va bene? Stai bene, Andreas? Tutto bene? Unmute yourself, Andreas. Okay. Okay. Uh, Andreas, you are you are muting, so I can hear you. I just want to ask if are you okay? Se stai bene? Come va? Stai bene? Whatever. Okay. Okay. Barbara is joining us. So, and I sent the link to Ellen and to Joan. Joan Giovanna con il gatto. Okay. So they should have it. Uh, yes. Today it's a weird, it's a weird day. Okay. So I sent to John, Barbara, and Ellen. So everybody should. Okay, Barbara. Ciao. No. Unmute yourself. 
Hey, had Matt. a hard time getting on today. It just kept spinning and said, yeah, the meeting and already in progress. Right. Okay, okay. And probably John has the same problem and Ellen too. So I sent you the link. So, okay. um, yeah, because anyway, they are recording the class. So just in case someone is absent today, I mean, you can um, have the recording of the class. Okay, so now we are gonna start with, no, we are gonna start. We are gonna still study unit 16, but we are gonna start how to use the present perfect. So it's a very important now that if you don't understand something, just let me know, okay? Okay, sorry. Can you see this? Yes. Okay, let me make it bigger. Okay, so. Oh, this is better. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. So the present perfect in Italiano è il passato prossimo, okay? So it's your present perfect. So, and this is a tense that allows, to, uh, allows you to refer to comple completed actions in the past. So you use this thing when you are talking about something that happened in the past, okay? We have different ways. We have the, the passato prossimo, the imperfect, different kind of things to describe the past. This is the first one, il passato prossimo, and this is your present perfect, okay? How do you form the present per perfect? It's a, it's a compound, uh, tense, so it's a form from the auxiliary of the verb, the verb to be or to have, plus the past participle of the verb. For example, if I want to say I ate an apple for snack, you have to say io Ho mangiato una mela per merenda. So you use the verb to have and then the past participle of the verb mangiare. So sono andato al cinema means I went to the movie theater. In this case, you use the verb to be. Io sono andato al cinema. Okay, the past participle is easy to uh, form. You have to use the rule. All the verbs you have studied, all the regular, we are talking about regular verbs who are, who, that belongs to the first conjugation. So, i verbi, the verbs in are, the regular verbs in are, first conjugation, like mangiare, parlare, uh, amare, to love, hanno il participio passato in ato. So are is transformed in ato. So mangiare, mangiato, lavorare, to work, lavorato saltare, to jump, saltato. So you have to add verb, the auxiliary verb to have, plus ato. So ho mangiato una mela. Ho parlato italiano oggi, today. Okay, don't panic. Okay, so if you, let me see here. Please. So when do we use it? When we use the past, uh, the present perfect? We use the present perfect when we are talking about a recent past. For example, yesterday ho tagliato i capelli. Tagliare means to cut. 
So O, verb to have, and then tagliare means tagliato. You transform are, last three things here, the designant in ato. Ieri ho tagliato i capelli. I cut the hair. Or when we talk about action, about things that yeah, it's not on the regular basis. So like uh, two years ago, I went to New York. Due anni fa, it's not 50 years ago. It's due anni fa. Two years, it's, it's a recent past. Due anni fa, sono andata a New York. I went to New York. And then we will see the verb andare just in one second. Or when we talk about action, things, action, facts, they, they have a time. For example, I am very tired. Sono stanchissima. Ho studiato dalle 8 alle 19, alle 7 p.m. In this case, you have an action that has some times, is delimited from time. So you use il passato prossimo, you use the past participle. So when you use the past participle and so the present perfect, the expression when you are talking about time, okay, the expression are scorso, like la settimana scorsa or the last month, il mese scorso. Fa is your ago, due giorni fa, two days ago, ho mangiato la pizza. Ieri, yesterday, lui ha parlato con Maria, he talked to Maria. Già means already, io ho già mangiato. These are some expressions usually you will use, you use when you are talking uh, with this tense. I mean, we are talking, um, you are talking using the present perfect. And okay. scorso, can you, excuse me, is scorso then, it means last, the last time? Yes, we yes. La settimana scorsa means last week. Yes, yes. And you can find what I'm saying right now. You can find it at page 232. 232 in your book the following expression usually require that the present perfect is be is to be used also last as in last week fa ago ieri yesterday già already okay so, for example, sono arrivati la settimana scorsa. They arrived last week. È arrivata due minuti fa. She arrived a few minutes ago. Sono tornati ieri. They returned yesterday. Io ho già mangiato. I have already eaten. So, and... Uh, the present perfect in Italian is translated in several ways in English, like he went or he has already gone. Oh, of course, no, he didn't not go, for example. So you can translate the present perfect in your language using he went or he has gone or he didn't go. Okay. The question. question. Ok. Alessandra, che è tagliato? Tagliato, cut. To cut. Tagliare means to cut. Cut uh, with the scissor, cut whatever. Cut. So tagliato i capelli, uh, the haircut. A haircut. Ok? Tagliare means to cut. To sing? Is it to sing? No, it's to cut. Cut. Questo, eh, Mirta, ho tagliato is cut the past of cut, ok? Ok, grazie. Prego, so Barbara. Yeah, does it make a difference, like how do you know when you use the helper like io ho mangiato and sono, how do you know? Eh, eh, just, one, just one second. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to get it in there. Just, This is just the beginning. So, okay. okay. I'm, I'm happy that Ellen is here and John is here. John, I'm, I'm happy you received my email because many of you, they didn't know how to connect today. Okay. Yeah. So I have a question about um, one of the sentences that you read. Is that an error? Because it says, a arrivata due minuti fa, but they translated as she arrived a few minutes ago, but shouldn't it be two minutes ago? Yes, it should be two minutes ago. I don't know why they made the translation. Okay, yes, two minutes ago. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Okay, so this is just the beginning. Don't panic, okay? okay. Don't panic, and I will, uh, I mean, I just want to be sure you know when we use the past, uh, the present perfect. So okay. for a recent past, when you are talking about a recent past, not 70 or 50 years ago, just a few years ago or one week ago or uh, yesterday, okay? Or when you talk about actions that are not on a regular basis, like two years ago, sono andata a New York, due anni fa, I went to New York. So, okay. So it's something that you don't do every, every Monday. You went to New York two years ago, okay? Or when you are talking about actions that uh, are, uh, they have time. They start and they are at the end in a limited time. Like, sono stanchissima, I'm very tired. Ho studiato, I studied from eight, to 7 p.m. Okay, we have time here. So it's something that happened between uh, 8, 8 a.m. and 7 p.m. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Um, okay. Now, could, yeah. I, could I ask a question about the See. class? See. Si. Um, what time did you all start? 1 30. Okay. Because I, you know, I was, it said class will start soon and I had it on and it went on and finally it was 15 minutes. So me I too, said, me too. It's so yeah, frustrating. So Victoria, I, so Victoria's I, I missed, listening. You know, so listen to it. It's so annoying. I missed all that. And so I'm just wondering now, because finally I said, well, I guess I have time to check my email. <laughs> so I checked my email and I got the link, but you know, I went through this whole thing, saving this to my desktop and everything. And it never said, this doesn't exist. It said, just waiting for the host to start the meeting. So I'm wondering if there's going to be recording of like those 20 minutes that I totally missed because I was really looking forward. No, I, because I saw, and it's not from me. I mean, I have the link like- I know you. it's not you, I know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so because I saw you were absent, Barbara was absent, uh, um, Ellen was absent. So I checked the link again and I sent it to you, but we, we didn't start. Uh, I mean, I was waiting for you before we started. Oh, so you haven't been going since 1.30? No. Oh, okay. Because no, Joan, I, Joan, me too. The same thing happened to me, Joan. So yeah. me too. Okay. I have I have a hint. When you uh, if when you look at the email, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there are attachments that are flyers, and the links on those flyers seem to work better than those blue links. Right, but you know, last time it was so easy before this. Like a little flag would come on my computer, Italian starting now. And I just click on it. I don't get those messages at all anymore. And I thought I had the right link, but now apparently the link's been changed. So yeah, yeah, I received an same. email that the link was changed a few days ago. Yeah. Okay. So is that going to be the link from now on? Because if I it is, that. I can just save that link. Yeah, I think so. I but think so. apparently, like, I remember in the old days, you could just go to like the daily schedule if you had that bookmarked and you could click on it and that would work um you know if they're going to keep changing it they need to let us know 
<laughs> yeah. And I can help you, I mean, with this. I, I'm sorry to waste time. I mean, I'm not, I don't mean to cry over spilt milk, but I'm just hoping to hope that this doesn't happen in the future and trying to figure out how to avoid it. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, and I know, and uh, you know what? I'm sending an email to Victoria herself. Why does she forget me? She forgets me every single time. Yeah, I know. I paid for this. Yeah. It's very It's so sono arabiata. Arabiata. I'm I'm furious. Furious. <laughs> I'm this is so annoying. Yeah, that's why I'm recording. I asked to record this class because I know oh. normally you you send me an email if you are absent. But because I didn't see many of you, so I asked Victoria, please, can you record the class? So she's recording the class, but you didn't miss, and you haven't missed okay. anything. Okay, okay fine. So just start but, when I yeah. saw you in the screen. Okay? okay, beautiful. So just one more thing about the recording. Mm -hmm. They used to record all of them. Like when I first joined this class, I was able to go back and I did this. Okay. And listen to all the ones from all the previous units, and they were all posted on a regular basis. Maybe not the same day, but they showed up. And that was very helpful if that could be communicated to her. The, the county will not let them do that anymore. Oh, thank you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, it's for the privacy. I don't know. Okay. Uh, the same thing for Emory. When I teach at Emory, I have to ask to record the class. They have to give me the authorization and I can oh, uh, wow. actually, and I record the class, but yeah. only if I have some students who are absent. Okay. Yes. Right. And did we just for, sign a paper saying we're okay to be recorded and we could just do it every time? Yeah. Just I don't yeah. Well, never mind. It doesn't matter, but uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So, and and I think it's because uh, if you record a class and you send the link to other people, they can have a, an Italian class with no pay. Probably it's one of the reasons, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, yes, okay. Yes. That so, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry. No, no, no. I was hoping don't worry. to avoid this. Okay, so don't worry about it. Okay. Just one sec on today, it's one of these days. Uh, okay. So. It's a weird lesson today. Anyway, so <laughs> we, okay. So if you look at your book first, page 231, okay? Look at your book first. Okay. At the beginning, you see indefinite ending, like parlare, cominciare, mangiare, cercare, pagare. These are all verbs regular verbs or, and the ending is are so it's first conjugation you know that right. okay so you have to form the present perfect using the auxiliary avere or essere plus the verb and instead of are ato so parlare parlato cominciare Cominciato, mangiare, mangiato, cercare, cercato, pagare, pagato. So if you want to say I paid uh, the bill yesterday, okay? You have to say io ho, I have paid. Io ho pagato il conto ieri. Io ho parlato. Nor I mean... All, the majority of the verbs use the auxiliary to have. So have. Io ho, lui ha mangiato, io ho mangiato, noi abbiamo mangiato. There are some verbs who are using the auxiliary to be, essere. Especially, normally, there are very few 
and they are the verbs who describe movement, like to go, andare, io sono andato, or arrivare, to arrive, io sono arrivato. These kind of verbs use the auxiliary to be, but the majority of the verbs use to have. So, io ho parlato, io ho cominciato, uh, noi abbiamo mangiato, voi avete cercato, lei ha pagato. Okay, these are some examples. The verb avere is more commonly used auxiliary verb. Okay, this is an example of the conjugation of cominciare, to begin, to start. So, io ho cominciato, tu hai cominciato, lui, lei ha cominciato. Noi abbiamo cominciato, voi avete cominciato, loro hanno cominciato. So, you see, we are using the auxiliary to have, avere. So, io, subject, pronoun, ho, verbo avere, to have, and then, the infinitive of cominciare is transformed in cominciato. So, are is transformed in ato. A-T-O. Are you okay? Are you following me? Sì. sì. Okay. Bene, bene. So, there are some verbs like andare, for example, they don't have the auxiliary have, but uh, uh, to be, okay? Auxiliary essere. Okay, here some verbs are conjugated with essere rather than avere. So, uh, and they, the book indicate the verb with an asterisk. When you have to use the verb to be, the auxiliary to be, essere, they put an asterisk like andare. For example, the verb andare, it's one such verb. It's conjugated in the present perfect as follows. You see here? Andare, io sono andato or andata. Tu sei andato or andata. Lui è andato o andata, uh, lei è andata, noi siamo andati o andate, voi siete andati o andate, loro sono andati andate. I explain this in one minute, ok? <laughs> See, because I know you're like, what, 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 what's going on? I want to know, ok. <laughs> ok, so... In case of the verbs conjugated with essere, the past participles agree in gender and number with the subject of the sentence. In other words, treat it as you would describe an adjective. Okay, just one second. So, when you use the auxiliary to have, you don't have any problem with the past participle. Io ho cominciato. Doesn't matter if you're female, uh, masculine, uh, plural, uh, singular. The, 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 the tense doesn't change. Ato is always ato. But with few verbs, who needs the auxiliary essere to be, in this case, you have to, the verb, the conjugation, have to agree in genders and feminine or masculine, plural. So, io sono andato, if you are a man, uh, Andreas can be, can say, io sono andato a Firenze, ieri, yesterday, okay? But if we speaking is Mirta, Mirta is a woman, so she has to say, Io sono andata, o masculi a feminine. In this case, the verb, it's just the verb who has the auxiliary to be, essere, 
is treated like an adjective. So is agree in gender, in uh, plural, masculine, feminine, whatever. If we say, for example, noi, we, noi, okay, all my class, noi, we go, we, we, um, we went to Florence. We have to say, noi siamo andati, because it's a group of people, masculine, ma I mean, ladies and gentlemen. So, I mean, uh, women and men, siamo andati. But if just ladies goes to Florence, so plural feminine, we will say, noi siamo andate a Firenze because we are talking about feminine plural, okay? I don't know if you are following me. This is very important. And I know it's not easy. It's not easy. Okay. These are some other example uh, with the verb essere and then the past participle. Marco, Marco is a man, of course, he's a boy guy. Marco è andato in Italia. Okay. But if I'm talking about Maria, Maria is a woman. Maria è andata in Italia. Men are, men, the men went to Italy. So gli uomini, plural, some people, some men, a bunch of men, we don't know how many, but it's plural masculine. Gli uomini sono andati in Italia. If a group of ladies went to Italy, we will say le donne, the women, The, the woman, so the women, sorry, sono andate in Italia. So other are verbs introduced in previous chapters that are conjugated with essere are arrivare e tornare because they are, these are verbs who, um, who, uh, sorry, these are verbs that uh, give a sense of movement, arrivare, to arrive, tornare, to return. You are, you are doing an action of movement. So andare, arrivare, tornare are verbs who are using the auxiliary to be. Okay, I know it's complicated by little by little, little by little, okay? Let's see here, just one second. You know, let me see, just one second, I move you here. Okay, we talked about regular verbs, okay? So verbs the first conjugation, are. And you know now they use normally the verb to have plus the past participle ato. Io ho parlato, io ho amato, io ho mangiato. Okay, io ho mangiato un panino, a sandwich, uh, un'ora fa, one hour ago, un'ora un fa. But you know there are some irregular verbs, okay? So some of the regular verbs are essere o avere. So if I want to say I have been or I have had, this is the translation. So the verb, the past, the present, the past, sorry, the present perfect of the verb to be and to have doesn't follow any patterns because are irregular verbs. So this is the past. Io sono stato or stata. Tu sei stato o sei stata. Lui, lei è stato o stata. Noi siamo stati o state. Voi siete stati o state. Loro sono stati o state. For example, if I want to say, uh, I've been to... Florence, okay, let's change town to Rome uh, uh, one week ago, okay? So very recently, okay, you will say, let's see, I'm talking, so I'm a woman, so I will say, io 
sono stata a Roma una settimana fa, one week ago, ok? So this is unfortunately, it's the um, present perfect of the verb essere, that is an irregular verb, so it doesn't follow any, any rules and you can find the conjugation in my PowerPoint or at the end of your book. Same thing of avere. Avere is an irregular verb, doesn't follow any pattern, so any rules. So this is the conjugation. Io ho avuto, tu hai avuto, lui, lei ha avuto. Noi abbiamo avuto, voi avete avuto, loro hanno avuto. And of course, with the verb to be, remember verb to be, you have to be careful if this talking is a woman, a man, or a masculine plural, feminine plural. With, when you have to have, no problem. The verb, it's always the same. So let's see, let's see, uh, I had uh, three husbands, okay, in my life. Let's put, okay. You will say, io ho avuto tre mariti. Okay, tu hai avuto, uh, for example, uh, Mirta, uh, Mirta had a dog, okay? Uh, so I can say lei, she, Mirta. Mirta ha avuto un cane. She had a dog. I can say noi, we, uh, one month ago, un mese fa, abbiamo avuto la classe d'italiano. We had uh, uh, an Italian class, we, sorry, we have had an Italian class one month ago. Abbiamo avuto la classe d'italiano un mese fa. So these, unfortunately, you have to memorize them because they are irregular verbs. But you know, the regular verbs are very few. So the general rule, the rule for the verb, regular verbs, first conjugation is the one that I told you before. Are is ato, and you have to use the auxiliary to have in most of the cases, and sometimes the auxiliary to, to be. Now, don't panicking. We are going to do some exercise together, okay? Um, just a quick question. It, yeah. it might be too advanced, but I was looking up in the the um essere, the you know, sono stato. That's the same for stare as well, right? Essere yes. and stare. Uh, I know yes. that's advanced, but uh, that's confusing to me anyway. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. No, what 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 do you want? It, it, that was your question. No, yeah, because yeah. stare. We didn't learn about stare. S T A R E. Yes. That means yeah, it, it's a whole other thing. Yes, we use stare like essere sometimes, and it's advanced. I will I will explain later. Yes, because otherwise you are confused. But right. it's a, it's a weird verb. Yes, okay. Okay. yes, but it mean it this, the meaning is like uh, to be. I mean, I have have been there. You know. You yes. Okay, like physically, isn't it more yes. like physically? Yes. I was yes, there. yes, exactly, exactly. Barbara, I, I want to make sure I have this in my head. So, io sono stata would be si. I have been. See, si. I say ho avuto. That means I had something. See, si. see. Si. Okay. See, right. si. Do you want to make a sentence, Barbara? Just make a sentence. Io sono stata and then make a sense and io ho avuto. You can say whatever you want. Io sono stata a Roma. Sì, perfetto. Means I, uh, I was in Rome, okay? And the other one, io ho avuto? Uh, io ho avuto um, alla mela. Oh, una mela, e apple. Una mela. Okay, yeah. ho avuto una mela, okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's better io ho mangiato, I ate oh. an apple, sì, io, but okay. that's okay. Ho avuto una mela, that's um, okay. Io ho avuto bicicletta. 
Sì, io ho avuto la bicicletta, sì, sì, ok. okay. Io ho avuto la bicicletta eh, two years ago, due, due okay. anni fa. Ieri. Yeah. Oh, ieri, sì, 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 <laughs> ieri. Okay. 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 Grazie, that helps. Prego. Prego. So, if... Oh, I have to silence my phone here. Okay, if you are ready and you have page... 231-231 ready. We are trying to do some exercise together so you can practice. Okay. So, uh, if there are some verbs that I think you don't know, they are already made for you, okay? But, for example, incontrare, the first one, I think you know this verb. So let's try, uh, let's try, okay? Number one, ieri, yesterday, io incontrare. You have to transform the infinitive of the verb, the infinity ending, with the auxiliary. And uh, here, all these verbs have the auxiliary to have, okay? So, yeah. ho, ho, ho incontrato una, una mia, mia amica, amica al, cinema al cinema e a cinema. usci. Oh, e ho? Oh, è all'uscita, sorry, sorry. È all'uscita? At the exit. Oh, sì. oh. Abbiamo... Noi? E abbiamo... Noi? Una birra insieme. Fatto una birra insieme. Bravi. So, I reread now the sentence and then I translate. Ieri ho incontrato una mia amica al cinema. E all'uscita noi abbiamo comprato una birra insieme. So, yesterday, ieri, yesterday, I met, or I had met, I mean, I met a friend, my friend at the movie theater. And at the exit, when we left, when, at the exit, when we exit the movie theater, we bought, okay, a beer together. Noi abbiamo comprato. Okay, does it make sense? Are you following me? Okay. Numero, numero due, the verb is passare, means to spend. Okay? To mm. spend, okay. So, are you ready to do this? L'anno scorso, lei. L'anno scorso, lei. Ha passato. Ha passato. Ha passato. Ha passato. Ha passato. Ha passato. Sì, l'anno scorso, lei so, ha passato le vacanze al mare in Sardegna. Last year, uh, she spent the vacation at the seaside in Sardegna. So you can notice that when the auxiliary is to verb and the, in this um, exercise, the auxiliary is always to have, the verb, when I'm talking about the past participle, the verb, the conjugation is always ato. Doesn't change if I say io, lei, whatever. Ho, com ho cominciato, ho mangiato, ho passato, ho comprato, ho incontrato. It's always the same. The verb change when we are using the auxiliary to be. So not now don't think about to be because this exercise is about the, the auxiliary to have. Okay. So look at number three. Bye. Ieri sera, Chiara e Gianluca. They are two people. Oh, no. Okay, yesterday evening, Chiara e Gianluca ate 
la pasta al pesto alla siciliana, the Sicilian way, okay? It's a, it's a recipe, it's, an, it's a, a pesto, a kind of pesto that they use in Sicily, okay? So ieri sera Chiara e Gianluca hanno mangiato la pasta al pesto alla siciliana. So it doesn't matter if plural, masculine, feminine, it's always hanno mangiato. You have to conjugate the auxiliary, of course, but ato is always the same, ok? Numero 4, ok, mm. now we are talking about the irregular verbs. So if you want, I can go back just one second, ok? Aiuto. Ok, and then let's see, uh, aiuto, let's see here. Ok. Uh, voi avete avuto una bellissima bambina. Fantissimo auguri. Okay. Yeah, the verb avere is irregular, so it's in, at the end of your book. The past participle is voi avete avuto una bellissima bambina. Tantissimi auguri. You had a beautiful uh, baby girl. Tantissimi auguri. Many, many, I mean, uh, congratulations, okay? Instead of tanti, tantissimi, okay? It's more than tanti. So what is it again? Voi? Yeah, voi avete avuto, you had, uh, or you had had, uh, una bellissima bambina, a beautiful baby girl. Okay, tantissimi auguri, congratulations. Auguri means congratulations. Tantissimi means a million, whatever. I mean, many, many congratulations. Numero sei, you are doing great. You are doing great. Ieri, Marco Marco e Michela hanno avvicinato la prostata di Lampone. Costata di Lamponi, sequisita. yes. Ieri Marco e Michela, so they, loro, Marco e Michela, hanno cucinato una crostata di Lamponi squisita. Hanno cu cucinato means they cooked, ok? Una crostata, la cro una crostata è, è pai. È Lamponi oh. as raspberry. A raspberry pie, okay? Crostata is a pie. Lamponi is the fruit raspberry. Squisita, squisite, okay? More than great. <laughs> buona, molto, molto buona. Squisita, okay? Exquisite. Yes, yes. Numero sette. This is a question, okay? So it's something about the past, something that happened recently. A che ora? I'm I la pasta. Mangiato la pasta. Io ho chiamato la pasta alla 21. Pasta alla 21. Okay, a che ora? Hai mangiato la pasta. At what time did you eat? Have you eat the, the, la pasta? The, uh, I called, chiamare means to call. So I called home at 9 p.m. Ho chiamato a casa alle 21. So someone who wants to know at what time you you. <laughs> you, you, are, you are eating your pasta, or you ate your pasta, ok? A che ora hai, chiama, hai mangiato la pasta? Io ho chiamato a casa alle 21. Bene, eh, numero 8, non mi ricordo se... Oh, I don't remember... Ok, hai parlato italiano ieri? Yes, I don't remember if I if I spoke Italian yesterday or I I have spoken Italian yesterday. Non mi ricordo se ho parlato italiano ieri. Io ho parlato, ok? E numero 9 studiare tu stadi ieri. 
Ieri. Ieri ho studiato tutto il giorno. I have studied, I studied all day long. Tutto il giorno, all day long. Bravi! Bravi, bravi, bravi. Wow, you're doing great. Ok. Uh, next exercise, we do this together. Now we have five minutes because this is about the verb, I mean, the auxiliary essere. Ok. Who wants to read this dialogue? Two volunteers, Antonio and Giulio. Who wants to be Antonio? Who wants to be Giulio? Come on, to volunteer so you can read this. I'll, I'll volunteer. I'll be Antonio. Okay. okay. Oh, Sharon, you are Antonio. Who is Giulio? I'll okay. be Giulio. Oh, okay. Barbara, you can do it. Barbara, let Barbara do it. Barbara. Barbara Giulio. Okay. Barbara, you start. Oh, okay. Ciao, Antonio. Ciao, Giulio. Che avete fatto ieri? Luca, Marco ed io siamo andate a mare. Avete preso il treno? Sì, ma er 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 eravato in ritardo. Bene, ok. So, ciao Antonio, ciao Giulio. What did you do yesterday? Mm -hmm. So, che avete fatto? It's referring to voi. Che avete fatto ieri? So... Uh, Luca, Marco ed io, Luca, Marco and I, so it's three boys, masculine plural, mm -hmm. siamo andati, ok, al mare, to the seaside. Avete preso il treno? Sì, ma è arrivato in ritardo. Did you take the train? Yes, but he arrived late, ok? So you see here the verb andare and arrivare are verbs who indicates, who explain who movement, something that it's not, that it goes, okay, it's moving. So they want the auxiliary to be. So essere o avere, questo è il problema, to be or not to be, okay, here it's essere o avere. So make sure you agree the past participle in gender and number. Okay, let's do this together because this is about the verb to the auxiliary to be. So look at page 231 in the middle of the page. Okay. Okay. Okay, so sono triste. I am sad. Perché non, non sono amato, uh, amata. No, no, no. This is already made for you. This is the simple oh, exercise. I just, I'm speaking. Sono, non yeah. sono amato. Sono, sono amato. Non sono amato. No. I just want that you don't concentrate about the past participle. Just uh, about the auxiliary now, okay? So, uh, okay, because I, I want to make it easier for you. Sono triste perché io, I, I am not loved by my fiancé. Sono. Sì, okay. sono triste perché... Non sono amato dalla mia fidanzata. Even the verb amare, uh, in this case, use the verb to be. Uh, they can use both. It's too complicated. In this case, when you are not loved, you use the verb to be. Mm, non sono amato. So, and then I will explain other cases, okay? Another time. Ieri, Ieri sono io andata in pizzeria. Yes, I went to the pizza place. Ieri sono andato in pizzeria. So who is talking here is a man. Man, man, because it's o, 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 okay? So it's a man. If it was a woman, I will say ieri sono andata 
data. Sería. Ok. So, lunedì, mardi. Sono stato molto impegnato. Sono stato molto impegnato. So, this is a man who is speaking. Let's pretend it's a woman. How do you transform this sentence? Sono stata molto impegnata. Impegnata. Yes, lunedì sono stata molto impegnata. Everything is transforming feminine. Ah, ah, okay. Now, be careful here. Molti studenti, many students, okay? Arrivati in ritardo. Sono arrivati in ritardo. So, molti studenti sono arrivati, maschile in plural, arrivati in ritardo, o plural maschile, sorry, arrivati in ritardo. They arrived late. Martedì, Maria è andata a scuola. And you see, Maria, Maria uh, uh, went to school. È andata, because Maria is a female. Oh. È andata a scuola. Different case here. Mercoledì, Wednesday, Marco. È andata a scuola. Yes, Marco is masculine, so è masculine singular. È andato a ristorante. Mia mamma, so she, mia mamma, è andata a fare una passeggiata. Mia mamma è andata a fare una passeggiata. My mom went for a walk, ok? Fa, do you remember when we use the verb to do or to make? Fare una passeggiata, eh, fare la doccia, take a shower. You say go out for a walk. We say fare una passeggiata, ok? Eh, I nostri amici, so they, i nostri amici, sono andati in Italia. Sono andati in Italia. Mm -hmm. Andati because masculine and it's plural. Sono andati in Italia. The, our friends went to Italy. But here, le nostre amiche... Sono andate a Roma. Le nostre amiche sono andate, because they are amiche, female, feminine, ok? Female friends. Sono andate a Roma. Eh, noi siamo tornati a Noi siamo tornati. We came back late yesterday evening. Noi siamo tornati tardi ieri sera. And lui è stato tornato tardi ieri sera. Yeah, you can see the difference here. Noi, so we in general, plural, noi siamo tornati, masculine in plural, tornati. Lui è tornato. Ok, because lui is he. So every, every time you use the auxiliary to be, unfortunately, you have to, uh, according uh, the verb and the, aux the auxiliary with gender, with plural and plural. Ok, when you have the auxiliary to have, the past participle is always the same. In case of the first conjugation of regular verbs is ato. Io ho mangiato, io ho parlato, uh, io ho guardato, I watched. So, io ho guardato il Super Bowl ieri sera. Io ho guardato. I watched the Super Bowl yesterday evening. So now this is just the beginning. I know in its time, so I'll give you some homework, okay? Oh, actually, you have homework here, okay? Yeah. You have one more exercise to complete, okay? And if you want, I can give you one more. Yes. So, and here there are some verbs you know, some verbs like to complete, you don't know this verb, so I made this for you, okay? 
when okay. there are some words, some verbs you, you are not very familiar, I made the, the past participle for you. But okay, now in this exercise, you have to use the verb avere, to have. So it shouldn't be very complicated now that you know the rule, okay? okay. But I will send you an extra homework about the present perfect because you have to practice, 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 practice all the time, okay? But did you get this? Um, did you understand? Sí. Sí, more sí. or less? Okay, okay. Sí. Grazie. Prego, I'm sorry if you connect late uh, today. I mean, they, um, some people have problems with the link, but you didn't miss anything, okay? And uh, and the, the lesson was a little bit longer because we, we uh, I mean, we, we lost, uh, it was not that we lost, but we lost some times. We lost some, uh, some times at the beginning. So, uh, we'll see you, ci vediamo lunedì. I'll send you an email with the homework. I know it's not an easy um, part of the unit, but if you understand how to use the past participle with regular verbs and the irregular verbs that they don't have rules, so you have just to memorize, it's a very good start, okay? You, you are quiet today. You are worried. Siete preoccupate. Oh. Eh? How do you say cheer up? How do you say? Cosa, Giovanna? How do you say cheer up? Oh, the, the, si, the, rallegrarvi. Si, cheer up. Si, si. Il, eh, um, Giovanna, uh, huh, this is the only cat you have. No, I have two cats, but this one is the one who comes to Italian class. Okay, but in the past, <laughs> I was to learn. That, that it was a funny answer. The, the, did you have cats in the past? Oh, let's see. Uh, oh. How many? <laughs> God. Um, do I have to use all the other words and everything? Do I have to say this correctly now? No, I just wanted okay. to say. Like, I, have, I have had other cats in the past, but okay. I, I, I want my that mind is fried right now, so I can't answer you. So I'll, I'll help you. So okay. Giovanna, Giovanna, so she, how many cats? How many? The numbers. In the past? In the past. Total? Si. <laughs> Must be yeah, I'd have to think about it. Probably okay. seven. Seven. Let's say seven. Okay. Giovanna, Giovanna ha avuto sette gatti. Okay. John had seven cats, of course, in, in your life in the past. Giovanna, but would I have to use another word like in the past or like fa or like... Sì, yeah. you can say in, in, uh, nel mio passato, nella mia vita, in my life, nella mia vita okay. ho avuto sette gatti. Oh, okay. 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 Uh, that reminds me that I have one question of how to pronounce um, the Italian for already. Is it Gia? Gia. Gia. Ja, ja, ja. All right, great. Ja. Buon, buon San Valentino. Sì, si, ja. buon San Valentino. Valentine's Day ah, is si. San Valentino. San is Saint Valentine's. Of course, it's related to something to the saint. I mean, something religious. San Valentino. So, buon San Valentino a tutti. Okay, baci. Grazie. Ciao, ciao, ciao. 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 Ciao, ciao, ciao.